All right, what's up, guys? So, Wear Testers has uploaded the review for the Air Jordan 11 Bread Velvet. You guys know me; you know how much I love my Bread 11s. All right, so I was like, got my got my low tops right here, as you guys can see. Got a uh, you could kind of see like the the. Hold on for a second. Let me. There we go. So like right right here, you guys can see where uh, I got my um uh the high top Bread 11s, and then on my other uh, other side of the room, I have those uh them Comfort Bread 11s. I actually. You know what? No, that's why I remember what I did with the Comfort uh, Bread 11s. I originally had got, it was the uh, Cool Gray Comfort 11s that they came out with. And, um, oh yeah, then it was the, uh, them, like, them two tray, uh, Jordans that came out where they kind of look like Bread 11s a little bit. But anyways, anyways, getting back to the, uh, them, um, Air Jordan 11 Comfort Lows that they came out with. So, I got the, uh, Cool Grays. I liked them. I was like, nah, man, I, I really do like these shoes. But I remember it was, I think it was either the same day or it was the, no, it was the next day, I remember. But it was the day of when I got the cool gray 11s, um, the comfort ones. I remember I had got my uh, second um, COVID shot. And so uh, I'd like, and I remember them saying like, okay, like, you know, come tomorrow, like you are going to feel sick and out of it and all that stuff. I still, no, the funny thing was, was that I still, in the back of my mind, sneaker head comes first i don't care how i'm feeling all right so yeah i, I remember where uh after i got that second shot i was feeling like all just out of it that day but i still managed to go up to that mall and get me the uh the comfort 11s the bread uh comfort 11s because i'm like nah man it's like i like those more than the cool grays and so that's just me i'm just a, i'm a bread 11 guy man i'm like i can't help it so most likely you guys you got um see me uh talk about these shoes at some point but um no i do like watching if you guys haven't definitely go check out wear tester see all their different sneaker review videos he's more in depth with his i'm like me i i have to say because he does like performance and casual um reviews me i just more so like yeah just uh like casual use and stuff but yeah he uh he goes um above and beyond he's been in the sneaker game longer than i have i got into the sneaker game in 2016 he's been based off of what it sounds like he's been into uh sneakers for decades now now. so um yeah it's like definitely go check out his uh sneaker review videos he got a gang of them so go check him out but anyways uh yeah let's go ahead and get into this video hold on for a second i okay there we go should we put these up against each other real quick yeah then which one's better yeah i mean it's kind of the holiday releases you know what i'm saying even though this one released like a month early They're, not that they were supposed That's to be true. the christmas release but they could be so they might hold them for someone's christmas present which one hmm? <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Before we get started, if you like this hoodie, the Mamba version or the MJ version, they are officially going oh, to be available sick. for pre-order starting November 18th. Get your pre-orders in during the pre-order window to ensure that you get the items before the holiday season. That way, if you are giving these as a gift, they arrive on time. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Now, as far as these bad girls are concerned, this is the Air Jordan 11 in a black and red playoff bread, whatever you want to call them, velvet edition. Now, these guys already did release, so I apologize about that. None of my local retailers actually got them in stock, so it was like mm. really weird. Uh, outside of the big box stores like the Foot Lockers and stuff, and I don't usually shop there. I try to go with uh, smaller local spots. But the only way for me to get them was through sneakers. They actually were still available late in the day, at least oh. in my size, but sold out in every other size so i thought that was very strange but i grabbed a pair i just wanted to check them out i just want to see how bad they were and yeah, I it's just like don't think... i had uh i was going to uh get me a pair but then as soon as i had looked it up on the uh, i forgot and then by the time when i did check the uh sneakers app they were already sold out so i was like oh well i'll uh guess uh they're not really i, I mean they are going um over uh reach or yeah retail price on like goat and things but yeah i mean it ain't like a big crazy jump like they're charging like double the amount it's still like in that 200 dollars range but anyways they're bad i just don't are they for me no obviously not i have these but i mean they yeah they are they are women's release but i'm like man i just i don't know with me i'm a big bread 11 fan so i just i gotta get them i'm like dad this this ain't gonna be the first time i ain't got me because no what was those ones 
um the satin uh um bread ones i got those i was like i've been wearing them a few times and things it's like i just don't want to wear them too much because i don't want to dirty them up and things but still i'm like bro i hey look i'm like if women can wear men's shoes men can wear women's shoes cool i think so the box that they come in is an original air jordan 11 style box so i like that actually the air jordan 11s came in two different style boxes some production numbers actually came in this style box while other production numbers came in the similar style box that you'll see the uh air jordan 12 yeah. release in that brown cardboard Nike box. But either way, the box is what it is. And then inside of that, instead of the carbon fiber paper, they do switch things up and they put the gold 23, which is very much in line with every other women's release. Not mm. every other, but most of them. Now, as far as the shoe is concerned, yes, they were very expensive. However, if your first thought was my first thought, which is this doesn't feel like it's like 220 plus dollars worth of product, like material product. Well, we were wrong. I actually Googled if velvet was a inexpensive material or expensive material. I don't remember what I actually said in there. I did save the tab. Hmm. Is velvet an expensive material is what I asked. And it says, yes, velvet can be expensive, but the price depends on the type of velvet and how it's made. Further on down, it does say that it's expensive because of its complex and time consuming manufacturing process. And then it describes mm. the different variations or ways that this type of material can be manufactured. So even though it looks cheap, and it feels cheap and it doesn't seem like it's like top tier quality in terms of like leathers, suede's, new bucks and things like that. Apparently this material is not cheap. Hmm. I was about to say I was all like if they I was like it's probably like a just a variant of velvet where it's like it ain't the most expensive um type of velvet, but it's like yeah, I imagine it's it's going to cost a lot to make it and things, but Hey, at the end of the day, I'm like, whatever be going on in them Nike factories, I'm like, look, as long as the shoes are comfortable, that's all I care about. And I will say off the top, they did one thing extremely right. And it's the only thing that I'm kind of like bummed out about as far as like, how come they got this and these did not? And it's actually in the form of the outsole right here. The outsole on these is beautiful it's not quite perfect as far as like a one for one recreation of the original in terms of color and that kind of like i don't know what it to does explain, look like different like look. more the original red. black and red air jordan 11s the outsole on those is so prominent in my mind it was like my first air jordan and that mm. outsole was so pretty it was like a candy i think i remember him talking about that i think he said um it was his brother that gave him his uh like the um bread 11s and i think he was saying that too like he wore them i i'm like fam i you look, I done worn a lot of different pairs of shoes, but even back then when I was like, I was, bro, I was careless with shoes. I guess I would say like with Converse, like Chucks and things, I would wear those down until they just started falling apart and things. I think he said he wore them down until that whole red part was gone. And I'm like, bro, that's, you're like, no, you're not wearing them. You're going to war in those shoes. <laughs> like, them are like shoes where it's just, fam, I'm trying to think like, how yeah, they they done they they been through some stuff. I'm I'm just gonna say that, but you don't worn them down to that. But anyways, moving on. Red and it had this weird gloss almost to it, and this outsole right here mimics it damn near perfectly. Versus the last release of the yeah. black and reds, which are this really dull, flat, matte looking red. You know what I mean? I tried to get it in the B-roll. I don't know if it's going to actually show up well because the camera seems to like pull the colors out really no, nicely I can and see everything. It but basically, I was gonna one... say even before he showed it, I was like nah it does look more like i don't know like i i know it's like a weird way of describing it but it's like this looks like it, it just it looks like a jolly rancher versus this it, it looks like i don't know like how could i describe it but it just this one just looks more like just i don't know like it, it got more going on versus this it's like and i think even he i think that's where i got that from too i think it was from watching his videos where it's all like the outsole looks like a jolly rancher or some candy um, but then with these, it's like, you know, it don't look like that. It's like, you could tell it's been worn, but still it's like, you could tell in that middle part there, like that's how the shoe would usually look, but it don't like, it, it just doesn't, it don't stand out like how that, um, this one does. Hopefully if they do decide to come out with another pair of, um, bread 11s, like the, uh, OG kind, they go more so with this outsole than this. Cause it just, yeah, like he said, it's dull looking. It's just super bright and damn near candy-like, like, like kind of like a Jolly Rancher. And exactly. This one is exactly. more like 
gummy, like a now and later. You are making me hungry. Mm. But either way, you've got that beautiful. I think he red said that before in his solid videos. rubber herringbone traction pods. This outsole right here is just a thing of beauty. It was sculpted and designed with the actual foot in mind, like actual anatomy, and it's just great, dude. Like I, I love this outsole. It might be one of the most iconic outsoles of all time, in my opinion. You do have the full length carbon fiber spring plate in there. This one is of the uh, black and gray variety. So if you were comparing them to these or the originals, this is the 2019, I think. This one hmm. is like the black and white checkered, whereas these are more like every other retro of this colorway that we've gotten where it's the black and gray. Moving on up, we do have a Phylon midsole and the Phylon is actually pretty nice. It's not as nice as the originals where it's like super soft, pillowy, creases with every step you take. It's not quite like that, but it does have some sort of compression in there, which is nice. It's got a nice underfoot feel. Embedded within that midsole is a full length air sole unit. And while this isn't the exact air sole unit used in the Air Jordan 11, if you wanted a visual, it's going to kind of look like this underneath the insole and underneath mm. that strobel. Speaking of the insole, there's an actual polyurethane insole in here. It makes me so freaking happy. I absolutely love that they put that in here, especially for the price. Now the traditional Cordura mesh, leather heel, and patent leather rand are all replaced with velvet everything. There's velvet literally from top to bottom. The only things that is left over from the original version of the shoe are the nylon lace loops. That's the one part hmm. that obviously wow. I don't really oh, jive yeah, okay. with. Like I'm not a fan of velvet, so I wouldn't wear something like this, but I do think that it looks good. I will not sit here and lie and be like, those look like ass. They really don't. I don't know if it's <laughs> the colorway fooling me, but they look good. Another thing that they did change are the laces. They're a lot smaller or thinner than the mm. traditional like fat round laces that are supposed to be mimicking the net of a basketball hoop. And even with them being a little bit thinner, I still think they do a good job of that. One thing that I love that they did though, is they actually added aglets to the tips of these laces and they are straight up full on metal. They're heavy, oh. they're bright red, they look amazing. It makes me really wonder like if they're putting metal tipped aglets on the laces on these, why can't we get real metal on the Air Jordan 12 on the top little like last two mm. eyelets that are up there. Like, why is that removed like that? I don't get it. <laughs> the branding all over the shoe has been changed or altered slightly. They all still say the same exact things, but they're just done up in a simple black and red look. Like this kind of feels like the black and reds mixed with the DMPs turned velvet and that's mm. the shoe. Now, as far as the size is concerned, I would go true to size. I think that they fit perfect true to size, just like the past Air Jordan 11s have. Not the lows, those fit a little bit long. I don't know why, but these true to size, you should be good to go. Again, I really like this. Like, like, what do you think? I like them. Like, Same yeah. reasons, they just kind of look rich. I don't know what it is. Like the colors look great. Yeah, I think they're like a nice, classy, elevated And you're look not a fan of oh. OG colors. Do you like these? No. <laughs> wow. That's bad. <laughs> that hurt me in my soul. That's a hard no. Okay, so you don't like these, but you like these. Yes, I really like velvet stuff. It Just does like come off though. Like I feel like if they were to do like a Valentine's pack, the, the I feel like that would be perfect. Where they do the uh, like the 2019 Bread Elevens for him, and then the uh, um, then those uh, Bread Elevens for her, or they could switch it around. But yeah. I might have just gave out a million dollars. I'm just saying, if that ever does happen, I'm like, hey, somebody bear. If I'm not like in the sneakers like how I am now, I'm like, somebody bear contact me and be like, hey, remember that that time when you reacted to Weird Testers and you came out with that idea with the his and her? Yeah, they're doing that with the bread. I'm like, nah, I'm like Nike, Michael Jordan, everybody. <laughs> I'm like, I want my credit, okay? But no, I think that would be a, a dope idea though if they were to do something like that, but... I'm, I'm fab. I'm like, forget. I'm like, I'm single. I wear both of them. I'm <laughs> like, if they did some stuff like that, I'm like, fab. I'm like, nah, it's like, and plus on top of that, if, uh, how would that even, because my thing is this though, how would they even work unless we both the same shoe size? So I'm like, nah, fab. I'm like, them both them. I'm like, if they both a 10, I'm like, no, they're both mine. 10, 10 and a half, they both mine. Just in okay. general. Okay. I like to touch it. Oh, well, yeah. It's Only pleasant. in one direction, though. It does have that cat's tongue feel. <laughs> Oddly satisfying still. Don't know why. Anyways, with all that being said, what is today's question of the day? Which are your favorite superhero movies of all time? I'm mm, setting... I would have to say 2003 Hulk. That was, to me, I was like, yeah, that that's a movie that I still watch, like, today as if I'm watching it for the first time. That 2003 
a Hulk movie. I, I had to say, that's a movie where I'm like, I wish they would have made more of them. Because it just, it was good, bro. So I'm like, hopefully, you know, I know how like they like to do like these multiverse movies. Like, hopefully they do something like that and they bring that... Bro, imagine where it's, like, all three of the Hulks. That, like, because they got, like, yeah, like, the one that's in the Avengers in the 2008, then the 2000. I think that would be a good movie. I will watch it, but anyways. In your parameters, you get to pick three. Did they not? They did not. I am setting your parameters. What you get they? three. I went to RottenTomatoes.com to help me. They had a list of, like, the top hundred superhero movies. Can I know their the the people's top three or Rotten Tomatoes? Is this the, is this based off of I don't know the critics or the or the public? Who does the splat? I think the people do. Okay, then it's them. Okay. The hmm. lowest is at fifty seven percent, which is Man of Steel. What? Oh, that's wow. number one hundred. That's a great I movie. Just, I yeah, I know. I was about to say I just seen a clip of or not a clip or a TikTok of it. And I never really sat down and watched the uh like all the Superman movies and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's like I seen a clip of it when he was in the, uh, I think it was a diner, and a guy threw a beer at him, and then he took his, uh, truck, and, like, he, I don't know, he, like, turned it into a knot with some, like, uh, like, some street lights or something, but, or it's, like, some poles, but, I was like, regardless, he messed the man's truck up and things, but, um, yeah, I was like, it looked good. I was like, I watched the original Superman movies, but yeah, I was like, I it just based off of what I had seen, it looks like it's a good movie. Like one of those movies I should sit down and uh, watch. But anyways, I'm just letting you know. Are they serious? Number they put Superman Returns over that. I don't even know <laughs> with if Brandon. Made, with I Brandon. don't know. Oh, if it made. It, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I will let you know the mask is in here. <laughs> Does technically count. <laughs> I was is, just like, it's a comic the, book movie. I was really enjoying how out of the box because I was able to pick my top three. But it's. I in- hope they're not saying that that's a bad movie because I'm like anybody that says that's a bad movie, I'm like, no, nah, we can go out into a parking lot and fight about it. There is no way possible. That is like one of Jim Carrey's classics. Ain't no way possible. I am not listening to nothing. You approach me talking about the mask is a bad movie. I'm going to assume that you're having medical emergency and i didn't know i'm like nah you're you're you i'm gonna go get you some help but i'm like nah that's i'm like i just don't think of it as a superhero movie but yeah i'm like that's uh nah i'm like it ain't it ain't gonna be a bad movie or one of the worst but one of the best if anything's but superhero wise i i just i don't know i just don't look at it as a superhero movie but anyways yes anyways number- is league of extraordinary gentlemen in there it was i believe I had to go through 100 movies. Is so. The Crow? Yes. And it's ranked. Hmm. It's ranked. Yeah, it's I in guess the 100 list. Okay, okay. So you wanted to know the top three? Because that's all you're giving me. Okay. So, like, what do the people say? At 97%, it was Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. That was good. As that was one. good. Man, that, wasn't even, that didn't even cross my mind when you first asked, asked the question. So really? Yeah, I put I'd it agree. in my top three. I'm going, like, straight, like, as a child. Okay. Number two is The Incredibles. That's technically new, though. No, it's of all time. I, I just. I wouldn't say it's top three. It's good. Don't get me wrong. The Incredibles is a good movie. It just, because I have to say for me, it would be Hulk. It would be, what was the, uh, I don't know, because I think, I think Into the um, Spideyverse was the first one. And then Across the Spidey um, Spider-Verse was uh, the second one. So just the second out of the animated ones, because that was good too. And no, actually, okay. So, 2003 Hulk. I guess we're just talking on uh, me. 2003 Hulk, um, the uh, last um, Spider-Man movie where it had, like, all three of the Spider-Mans. And then, I, I don't know if I should, I don't know about the Avengers, but, I mean, I feel like I should include the Avengers. See, that's what I'm saying. I got, I don't know. I'll have to see the list myself. But I'm like, yeah, for me, like, it would probably, like, I, I don't know. Like, if I maybe were to do, like, a top 20 or top 50, The Incredibles would be in the mix of it. But I just, I can't say it's a, it's a top three. But anyways. You said superheroes or comic book? Superheroes. Ugh, okay, fine. Semantics. <laughs> <laughs> and then number three at 96% was Black Panther. The first that one? That was good. Because yeah. what was the other one? It's a, uh, Wakanda Forever, right? That is what they called the second one? I think so. Okay. So Black anyway. Panther was great. Sorry. I was going to say, I'll give you my other two, but let's hear your three. What do you mean your other two? Like the next two? I had picked just going off the top of my head what I would pick, and then I decided to I look up a list. I do want to hear list. yours first. Okay, in no particular order. That, that's not a top three, though. <laughs> it is a top three. I'm just not ranking them. A top three is the ranking. No. So what's number three? I'm not putting them in order. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> so I put Into the Spider-Verse. Okay. Tobey Maguire's 
first Spider-Man movie. That was good. And then as my third, I put Mega Mind. Uh, I hate that some of these count. <laughs> <laughs> it, it showed up on the list, and I was just like, there you go, that's mine. Because it's superhero. Yes. What was your parameters for ranking? This is just what gives you the feels? What I would be like, yeah, I'm down to sit and watch that. Like over and mm. over again, or just like, in general? Just like have a weekend of, I probably won't fall asleep during this. I enjoy, like, mm. I definitely have one-liners from these that I use all the time. Ah, uh, the old shul house. Like, how often do I say that? Way <laughs> too much. Um, Toby mm. Maguire is more so like it hits me in the feels. Right. Um, his, yeah, bad. I was like, his um, Spider-Man movies, I was like, yeah, those are movies where it's like, if anybody, so I, cause I know that they are like, uh, focused more on, uh, Tom Holland, Spider-Man, uh, movies, but yeah, it's like Tobey Maguire, he's an OG man. Uh, it's up where I'm like, again, if somebody were to approach me talking about oh, his, uh, um, his Spider-Man wasn't all that good. I'm like, okay, again, you're having a medical emergency. Let's go ahead and take you back to the hospital. Cause that's. That's not normal. That's not a normal sentence, all right? So, but anyways. But I really love parts of the first one more. Yeah, and then Spider-Verse, that was just a really good movie. Yeah, like, I, I like know. the visuals. One and two. I enjoy the story. I love the music. I have that feels for it because it was a certain time and place in our lives. So, you know, the, all the of it. The rewatchability factor of that movie alone is extremely high. Like, yeah. You could put that on at any time and end up just like getting sucked into the couch, even if you don't mean to. I feel like you would strongly agree. I only get three? Yeah. I need to still know the other. What's the other ones? The other like, like what, top four? Tens? Yeah, what's number nine? Number nine is Superman the movie. The original. That was, yes. yeah, that was good. Number yeah. eight was Iron Man. Okay, that's a great one I never too. watched Number it. Number seven is The Dark Knight. Great one. From Number what six. I've seen and heard, I will, I, even though I haven't watched it myself, I will say that it was um that it's it comes off as a good movie. Next is Avengers Endgame. That was good. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Number five is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. I ain't never what? said that. That made the top ten. It got ninety five percent. You know the reaction wow. that was just filmed <laughs> <laughs> was ruined as soon as you said the Mutant Mayhem part because I thought it was just the original one. I feel like it's kind of hard because how often do people watch old movies and, and then, then rate go, them? Yeah. Right, I agree. But okay, Superman so made it. You know? I guess. <laughs> Number four is Spider-Man Across the yeah, Spider-Verse. Yeah, that was good. That's the second one. Yes. I don't think that that one is as good. It's not according to this list. Wow. <laughs> it only Ob got 95. Obvi obviously, obviously. <laughs> okay, okay. So my I don't know. Between, I the first one was good. But the second one, it, it overall, I have to say, it's it left me invested to where I'm like, okay, a third one needs to come out. They're like, both of them are good. Like, if you haven't seen them, definitely go watch them. But yeah, I had to, I don't know. I guess for me, I, I do like the second one more than the first one. Top three, clearly not based off of any of that criteria. Right, it's straight it's up like personal... rankings, yes. This is really difficult because I can make a full on, like, this would take me all day. <laughs> okay, well, my number one is the original TMNT. Not mm -hmm. Mutant Mayhem, even though that was a fun movie. Uh, the original is just leaps and bounds better than any of the other ones yeah i gotta go based off of like feel and i would put the first spider-verse movie in there i don't know where i would put it that's why you don't have to rank them you i know i know i know i just want to make it clear that tmnt is number one always yeah 19, 1990 teenage mutant ninja turtles the best movie ever there's so many other ones that i want to put on this like the dark knight 89 batman batman returns no only three Pick your three. I'm trying, okay? I'm narrowing <laughs> things down. I'm giving my explanation. I do agree with The Incredibles. That's the best Fantastic Four movie that we've ever had so far. So far. Ooh. Can I do two as my third, please? Fine. What okay. did you pick as your second? Uh, the Spider-Verse. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. My third pick, my last pick, it's gotta be a tie between the original Crow, fantastic mm. movie, and the original Blade, which I say okay. is okay. the catalyst to what we now know as superhero yeah. genre of film. So I know a lot of people give X-Men, you know, from like 2000, all the credit. And I kind of understand that was the first big name, like movie that came out with those kind of, like that type of uh, genre or whatever. But Blade came before it. Yeah. I know I've been, uh, I just started watching but with all uh, that being said, um, Deadpool and Wolverine. So I'm like, man, it's just, but yeah, I, I will say though that I, I don't know, like The Crow, I've seen bits and pieces of The Crow, but yeah, Blade is one of those movies where it's like, I, I think... I didn't realize it up until now, but I think my dad, he, he, he placed me in front of the TV to have me watch that movie. And it's like, you're not leaving until you fully watch from beginning to end 
the Blade movie. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let us know which of these two that you prefer. The color of this one, like it draws my attention away from this one. Even though this is the OG, I prefer this one. But I, I can't lie, these look good, man. Like, I don't yeah. know what to say about it. Maybe everybody's gonna be mad at me for saying it, but yeah, these turned out well. The outsole alone, I just wanna rip this off and glue it onto this one, because <laughs> it's how they should look. But sound off below and let us know your thoughts on these in the comment section. And also, feel free to rank your, they only get three. They only get three. It's Look, she's three. screwing everybody, okay? <laughs> you get to sit down Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night with your boo, and the theme is superhero. And pretend that it's like Thanksgiving week. <laughs> and you got the whole week no. off and just keep going it's just friday just Saturday, keep going <laughs> list them all anyways we'll catch you guys on the next one so until then y'all have a good one yeah i just i i don't know because it's like i want to be different because i feel like that if i were to say the incredible hulk then she's gonna be, then i feel like that yeah that it's like she's my significant other be like why why are we watching all these hulk movies i'm like dang choose something else i'm like i can't even look at no video games that i got where i'm all like dang i just can't even think of nothing where it's dang man this is difficult i'm like this is mad difficult yeah i don't i don't like this i don't, I don't like being i don't like having my brain just having that much pressure and stuff i'm like nah we ain't even we just gonna sit and just talk i'm like we just gonna i don't know we just gonna <laughs> sit and have a conversation but we ain't choosing <laughs> we ain't choosing those superhero movies because i'm like i can't i can't think of a third one but yeah i would say uh 2003 hulk and then spider-man across the spider-verse and i just i i don't even know i'm like i it's just yeah it's it's something where i'm like i i'm trying to think i can't even think of no other marvel movies where it's like it stood out a bit where actually you know it okay then uh yeah and i'm like okay so 2003 hulk spider-man across the spider-verse but i feel like you would have to watch the first one in order to understand the second one and then even well yeah i think it was it would have to be like that but um and then the uh the um spider-man uh was it far from home i think that was um that was the spider-man far no that was the second one um what was the uh the third one hold on for a second i feel like i got okay spider-man far from home uh sequel no way home that was the okay that was the uh the name you would think it would be far from home because it was like the other two spider-mans technically they were far from home i'm like it wasn't like home was down the street it's like because it wasn't even it wasn't even in their um their original world so but anyways yeah it would be that um that one no way home but uh anyways with that being said make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to wear testers for more videos like this like subscribe to me too and i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and peace